does infinite banking really work in Canada? By the end of this video, you'll have the three things that you'll need in order to become successful with infinite banking in Canada. Make sure you stick around for point number three because it is the most important part. Point number one, you have to use the right platform to perform the function of banking in your life, specifically when you're talking about infinite banking. Now, some advisors out there say that you can use a universal life policy and some other advisors say that you could do infinite banking with a home equity line of credit. And both of those are great tools to accomplish different strategies. But if you're going to use the infinite banking concept here in Canada, you need to use a properly engineered dividend paying participating tax exempt life insurance contract. Because infinite banking uses a tax exempt insurance contract to perform the function of this strategy, the question then becomes, do you have a bona fide reason to have life insurance? Do you have a bona fide reason to own life insurance on another perhaps member of your family? Competent advisors will also make sure that your policy stays within the rules and regulations of Canada. Speaking of regulations, most everybody that does infinite banking in Canada does so because they have a desire to control their capital and protect it from unnecessary tax. Therefore, the second rule that you need to understand is the difference in how insurance is treated in Canada compared to the US when it comes to tax. So your advisor has to be able to explain the differences in the rules between how infinite banking works in the US and how infinite banking works in Canada. For example, is a policy loan considered a taxable disposition? An authorized practitioner, somebody who has gone through the training of the Nelson Nash Institute, will be able to lead you through the tax consequences of all these different types of strategies. You have to pay attention to the unique rules in the Canadian Income Tax Act when it comes to the use of an insurance policy. For example, will my policy loan be taxable? Will a collateral loan be considered taxable? What are the differences if I own it either personally or in a trust or in a corporation? An authorized practitioner should be able to lead and work with both you and your tax professional in the use and implementation of infinite banking in Canada. It's also very important for your advisor to work very, very closely with your tax professional to make sure that the use of infinite banking isn't conflicting with any existing tax strategy that you and your tax professional may have already started. Now, before I move into the third and most important point, make sure you like and subscribe to get more content like this to help you do infinite banking in Canada from the Infinite Banking Canada group. Hey guys, I've been waiting for this whole video to share point number three with you. And point number three is to use an infinite banking practitioner. There's a lot of great advisors out there in Canada, but there's only a few that are authorized and certified qualified by the Nelson Nash Institute to do business in Canada. Sadly, most clients walk away with a policy that has really high premiums and really low cash value or people using people that don't understand how to use an infinite banking policy to help finance those investments that you're looking to make or do the things that you really have heard that infinite banking can do. You know, infinite banking is a strategy that requires a long sequence of both high minimum and discretionary premiums in order to capitalize a policy properly. Infinite banking uses a strategy, but it's not a one size fits all strategy. Policies and these strategies have to be curated for you because it's never a one size fits all. It's all based on your unique situation. And therefore, every policy is unique to you and to the advisor that's helping you. Your next step should be to get your hands on a copy of Becoming Your Own Banker 
which is the absolute resource for doing infinite banking. And the second step would be to go to ibcanadagroup.com and find yourself an advisor that's licensed in your area and can work with you. Until next time, I wish you well on your journey of discovering infinite banking.